this is the look we're going for thank you ellie lester oh thank you ellie lester for suggesting it lovely girl right so i'm trying to use as many affordable products as possible god i look like an egg going to start off with the lasting finish for a uh, rimmel foundation i'm using the shade 100 ivory um Frances is a lot paler than me. She can really rock that milky white sort of look. Personally, I can't because I'm not that pale. So I'm taking the Nancy blending sponge and I'm just going to blend it all over my face. She hasn't got like a really high coverage, but her skin does look pretty damn perfect. So I thought by using this one, because it gives a really nice finish, I thought that would be a good one to use. Please excuse my massive spot here. We had a nice little fight this morning. I love this sponge, it's so good for blending. I think it's only like six pounds. I was sent mine, um, thanks Nancy. But I absolutely love it and they're completely vegan cruelty free and they do a massive range of brushes as well that's them let's go on to concealer um i'm using the lasting perfection concealer by collection um this is really affordable as well i think it's like four pound and it's one of the best i've ever used this is what it looks like if it wants to focus there you go and i'm using the shade fair one which is the lightest one and it's a doe, doe for applicator, so it's really easy to get like in the corners and stuff. I am going to apply quite a lot of concealer. In the photo, it looks like she's not wearing any blush or um, bronzer or anything. So by adding some depth and dimension under the eyes by using a lighter concealer, able to achieve sort of like a bit of structure to the face rather than just being a flat surface I'm going to put a little bit on my chin and down the centre of my nose again that's just for me because I hate my face now I've got a mini like beauty blender sponge I'm not too sure where this is from I think it's from the Born Pretty store and I'm just going to softly blend that all the way This does take a little bit of time, but not too much. The, if you dampen your sponges, it kind of does it all for you. You don't have, Teddy, you don't, Teddy Bear, I'm trying to blend my concealer, man. And you don't have to use a lighter concealer. I just personally prefer it, um, simply because, like I said before, it's going to add a little bit of dimension, which we are going to miss out by not applying really anything else to the face. Okay, so, ooh, I'm losing my sponge. Just to soften that a little bit more, I'm just gonna take my foundation sponge and any leftover foundation is just gonna take that away. So we've got kind of like a flawless, oh, I missed a bit of that. Like a flawless, kind of not boring but like flawless natural base but it isn't that natural if that makes sense now i'm gonna move on to my brows you can do your brows any which way you like um francis doesn't really well she used to rock these massive brows like proper woof, but she seems to have toned it down uh, itch. and in this photo she doesn't seem to have like much of a brow going on so i'm not going to film this bit because i do have um i have gone oh wait let's film it yeah let's film it so i'm going to take the matte 266 brush this is just a angled brush it's great for liner as well but i really like it for my brows and then i'm going to be taking the i heart makeup naked chocolate palette because this is the colour I use for my brows and it's just this one here you use whichever colour you do your brows exactly how you want to do them which is what I'm gonna do <coughs> sorry so as you can see I don't actually have much of a brow because I oh, made a mistake already um because I've got 
my brows kind of grow in a like an upside down C shape and it's not something that I'm like happy with. Look, even like just filling in that tiny bit, it looks so much better already. So I actually shaved my brows off, well half of them. I'm going to keep them kind of bold but not too big today. <laughs> I'm not really going to do too much to them. I'm not going to do that big arch that I normally do because I am trying to keep it fairly grungy looking. God, it just look how different your face looks. Like people say, like, oh, don't need makeup, don't need makeup. Look how much better my face looks with one brow on. Of course, I wouldn't walk around like this, but you can see how much, I don't know, it just brightens your face up. So I'm going to do the other one. I'm not going to conceal them today because I think it would just look too harsh. It's just really simple doing these brows like this. I kind of like it. Wish I had big hairy brows like it though. That really? Oh, Teddy. Sometimes with brows you have to like persevere and go back and forth, back and forth between each one just to get that ideal uh, shape because no, nobody's brows are exactly the same unless you have them tattooed on. Which I don't. I know I said I'm not going to conceal it all, but this one's annoying me a bit. So I'm just taking the MAC 212 brush, which is a flat. Um, I don't know what you'd call it, the finer brush, and it's still got a little bit of concealer left on from the other day, so I'm just going to run that literally down there, just to tidy it up a tiny bit, because I wasn't happy with it, that was more for the shape rather than the cleanliness of it, so my brows aren't looking, they're looking similar, but not like exact, if that makes sense, so they've got a really good like in fact, I'm going to put a little bit more in this one just to sharpen it up. Just the front bit here. If I'm looking that way, it's because I've got a mirror there. And then just... And then taking a spoolie, this one's the e.l.f. one. I've purposely bent it that way. It was normally straight up, but I find it a little bit easier. I'm just going to run that through the front. What that's going to do is just pick up any excess product that we don't want there. And it's also going to pull all your brow hairs up. Take it, oh, I've got an itchy eye. Taking a brow gel. This is the Billion Dollar Brows one. It's looking very, very mucky, mine is, because, well, because it is. And um, this is one of my favourite brow gels I've ever used. And I'm just going to pull my brow hairs up. Usually I only do this at the front, but I do want them to look quite... I guess grungy. Just really like, I really like my brows like this. If you can see, just what hairs I do have, I am just pulling it up so it gives them a bit of a edgy look. This is such a simple makeup look. Next, I'm going to go on to eyes. In the picture, let's have another little look. It's got like a it's like a warmy sort of brown look. Yeah. So for first of all, I'm going to take the. I should probably stop eating my apple. First of all, <coughs> teddy bear. <coughs> Oi! Sit down. Do you want some apple? That'll shut him up. Teddy do anything for an apple. Or a Cheeto. I love Cheetos. I'm really loving this tea. It's the Twinings green tea with ginger. Is it Twinings? Yeah, I think so. Can you eat your apple quietly, please? 
Can you hear that? He's literally... <laughs> right, it's one twice. I'm taking the Urban Decay Eden Primer. This is my personal favourite. It's amazing. Um, so you're just going to take a tiny bit and run that... Oh, shut up. Run that all over your eyes. And what this is going to do is make sure that your eye makeup stays in place all day or all night. Run that over. You don't want too much. You want it sticky, not saturated. And then personal preference, I like to go over with the, what's this brush called? The Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and just buff that in right up to the brow bone. Buff that in. Until it's there compared to the same list. For me, this next step is vital. <coughs> God, sorry. I'm going to be taking Foxy out of the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay. And I'm just going to taking the same brush, buff that all over. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to almost set your primer in place. Um, but the main reason I do it is because I love these primers so much... But if you don't set them with something, you're going to find it really difficult to blend. Like to the point where you can't blend. So, Urban Decay, I love you. But this step is definitely vital. So, I've used Foxy, which is a sort of a yellow toned... Oh, you can see I love this palette. A yellow toned, um, just matte shadow. You could use a loose powder. So, whatever powder you use on your face, you could use... Or you could use a white one. Personally, I just prefer this because it is the same colour as Eden. And it just helps things stay. It's a really good quality eye shot this. Just make sure it's nicely buffed in. It doesn't have to be too neat, but we do want some sort of precision. So to achieve that warm toned, grungy eye, I'm going to be taking the brand new Makeup Revolution pattern. This is the new Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette in Neutrals. Let me show you. Neutrals versus neutrals. And I'm going to be taking, I always forget to leave the, um, like these palettes come with like a plastic thing on with all the numbers, not the numbers, the colours. So I'm going to be taking this one here. It's like a terracotta-y sort of warm orangey brown and I'm taking that on a MAC 217 and I'm simply just going to buff that all over the lid. I'm not going to take this too high because this isn't a full blown light like, smoky look. It's quite, it's actually quite simple. I'm just going to come a bit closer. I don't know why I moved closer and I can just zoom. So I'm quite lucky, I do have quite nice blue eyes. I know it sounds very big headed, but I do. And so does Francis. And what warm toned colours like this do is they make your eyes look so blue. Which I really like. A lot of people are scared of warm toned colours. Like, and I don't really get why. Because <clears throat> it actually looks really nice on everyone. I just think it looks extra pretty on blue eyes because it just makes them pop. So what I'm doing is I'm just slowly building, you know, you can see that, look how like, indigo-y that one looks. You probably can't see. Um, <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm just slowly building up the colour, blending it out. I'm keeping the, the brush quite flat to my eye, because I find that works really well. Her uh, eye. <laughs> Sorry. I find that works quite well when concentrating it quite low. And then if you do want to take it up a little bit higher, which is what I'm going to do, I do have slightly hooded eyes. I'm just going to open, keep your eye open and just take it here above the crease. That's just so you can actually see it above the lid. Because if you didn't do that, you see you can't really see it. But just by taking it a little bit higher, you can achieve a bit. Oh, Teddy, shut up. A very, like, smoked out look. I really like that. Very, very simple, very understated. I think that because Francis is extremely pale, this eye look would look a lot more grungier on her because she's so pale. Because I have quite warm toned skin. I am, um, um, 
it looks nice but it doesn't look as grungy so let's go on to the next eye again just doing the same thing keeping the brush quite flat and just doing windshield wiper motions going back and forth back and forth there isn't actually much fallout with in fact i don't think there's any fallout with this eyeshadow but i do i load my brush up and i always tap it off oh you can see it there <laughs> so again press it on keeping it flat and then just smudge 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 you can keep this as i can't remember as simple and understated as you like or you can build it up to a really nice orange color this would also look really nice um as a little bit more um night timey if you just smoked some black for like in the crease or like a really nice charcoal brown like charcoal brown chocolate brown and like the outer v and light into the crease i might actually do that <laughs> teddy i think teddy wants to say hello guys and that's the problem i'm not kind of blending this out too much i am keeping not a harsh edge but I'm not blending it out as much as I would usually because we are going for that you look. Now, let's say hello then, Teddy, because you're playing naughty. Say hello to the camera. And you say hello. Boy, you're being real sassy today. I think you're feeling a bit long, new. Smells really good. All right, now, because we are going for that grungy look, we're going to take it quite low down on the lower lash line. Again, using the same brush. But this time, rather than concentrating the, the product on the side of the brush, we're going to control it on, uh, concentrate it on the top. Because what that's going to do, that's going to give us more control of the product. So just literally softly sweeping that back and forth under. Keep going in with product, building it up as much or as little as you want. At this point, you're probably thinking, you look a bit stupid but once you get a bit of eyeliner on and the lips and some mascara it all just brings it in so now i'm taking the makeup revolution hypocrisy eyeliner and this is <coughs> this is in the shade iconic brown okay now i don't know where that got up to for some reason my camera just stopped filming so we've just applied the makeup revolution hypocrisy liner in iconic brown to the lower lash line and we are now taking the urban decay 24 7 blending brush which is just like a pencil brush mine's dirty of course and we're just gonna smoke that out mine does actually have a little bit of black eyeshadow on which i think is really nice like adds a little bit of um depth so i've got another eyeliner this one i've got hair in my eye this one is Demolition by Urban Decay. One of my favourite brown eyeliners ever. And we're just going to pop that into the waterline. Oh, that's so much better. Back in with the blending brush that we've got. Any pencil brush will do. You could even use the blending brush used for the eyeshadow. I'm actually going to go, if I can find it, um, go back in with the 217 with the product on and just basically smush it all in together all right so that's the eyes done all we've got to do now is apply your favorite mascara i'm going for this is a very urban decay heavy video sorry guys if you don't like urban decay if you don't fair enough they're not one of my favorite brands if not my favorite brand yeah actually i'd say urban decay are my favorite brand i'm going in with urban decay's perversion mascara this is really good for that grungy look because you can uh, really like mold your lashes into um spiky shapes and stuff there might be better ones out there but personally this is my favorite so i'm just going to put some scar on this is quite difficult to do on camera can you see it's so much nicer i haven't curled my lashes but they're actually looking pretty swift i know i said that i wasn't going to put anything on the cheeks but i feel like i need something just a little little bit of blush so i'm going to use the milani bake blusher in luminoso and i'm going to take it on this is like a semi angled brush blush brush i got this from ebay it's like five pounds for the set really good actually so i'm literally just gonna press a tiny oh that's better 
you could rock this look without it. I just can't with my face shape. I think what I'm going to use is Max Chili. So Max Chili is matte. Um, Francis had a, I need to call a Kurt then. <laughs> Francis had like a matte lip on. This is sort of a, like a ready, it's like an, if you've seen Max Diva, it's almost like an orange version of that. So it's kind of like, oh, it smells so good. Um, it's kind of dark, but still quite light. Not light, vibrant. So I'm just gonna apply that straight from the bullet. Looks really red in the camera. That's so annoying. So guys, that is the finished Francis Bean Cobain look. I hope you liked it. Thank you again to my friend Ellie Lester for suggesting it. I'm sorry that my hair looks a bit crappy today. If there are any celebrity looks you'd like me to recreate, then tweet me at FSR Beauty with a photo and I will see what I can do. Um, I really enjoyed doing this look. Something a bit different, glamorous, but in a grungy way. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time I'm doing a video. Bye!